Hello and welcome back. Good to see you all again and thank you for joining me for week four's workout of the week. So week four is the first week in the training plan that tempo runs are introduced and it had been my intention to use a tempo run for this week's workout of the week. But unfortunately the day I was planned to do that, which was Tuesday, was monsoon-like conditions, heavy wind and rain. So I figured that probably wasn't the best day to go out and film a workout session. I think the wind was so strong at one point that I nearly got blown off my feet. So I've had to rethink which workout I'm doing for this week. As you can see, currently in the middle of a run just now, I'm out doing my long run, about 13k into that or so. But it's not the long run that I'm choosing for the workout. I'm actually doing surges, which is something you can add into an existing run to get a wee bit more out of it. So what exactly are surges? Well, they're kind of similar to strides in that it's a short paced effort that you repeat a few times, except the strides, you do them at the end of the run, whereas surges are introduced in the middle of the run. So, as I say, about halfway through my long run just now, and I'm gonna incorporate four times 30 second surges into this run. I'm gonna do the first of them now. Another area where surges differ from strides is that when you do the strides at the end of the run, you do your fast pace, but then you take a pretty decent recovery between the two. For surges, you're still taking a recovery of around three minutes, but instead of doing like sort of walking recovery, what you want to do is return to the running pace you were at before you began the surge. So in this case, for my 30 second surge, I was dropping down to 5k pace. And at the end of it, I want to return to my long run pace, which is somewhere in the region of 510 per kilometer today. Now I've just completed surge number three at a pace of around 345 per kilometer, which is a, uh, yeah, pretty good. A uh, representation of 5k pace. Now you wouldn't think that dropping down to 5k pace for 30 seconds would be particularly challenging, but <laughs> you'd be wrong. Once you've been locked into a pace, a slower pace for you know an hour or more, trying to change that pace is really difficult. So getting the legs moving that bit quicker certainly really good training uh, for races you know, where you might need to pick up the pace at the end of the race, or if someone tries to break away, you know, in the middle of it, you've got that in your locker to be able to pick up that pace and stick with it. That's the fourth and final surge completed. Uh, so now back into regular long run pace for the next, I think I've got maybe seven K to go or something to get home. So yeah, surges, Normally there's somewhere in the region of four to six of them in the middle of another run. Um, they last about 15 to 60 seconds each, dropping down to something like 5k pace. And the main sort of benefit is teaching you to increase from one pace to another, which is always useful race training. Hopefully you found that video interesting. Uh, and enjoyed learning a thing or two about surges. Apologies if you were really looking forward to tempo workout this week, uh, but don't worry, I've got you covered. The next five weeks of the plan all include tempo runs, so there will definitely be tempo run workout in an upcoming video. May not be next week, but there will definitely be one, so yep, have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next video.